Mr. Superior from Interactive AV Solutions. We are the exclusive distributor for Clever Touch for Sub-Saharan Africa. And I really cannot wait to share um, what I'm about to share. It's a fantastic new feature in Lynx Whiteboard, which as you know, Lynx Whiteboard is the lesson delivery or collaboration software that comes absolutely free with all Clever Touch technology interactive displays. Now, what you are able to do today is actually share your lessons. So where I'm going to do this from is the best way. I'm currently in my dashboard, but if I open my browser, if I open my browser and I then go into Lynx Cloud. So you go into Lynx Cloud. Right, just give it a second. It will open. Now you go to Drives. Once you're in Drives, you need to work out of your Lynx Cloud for this to work. Um, there is, it's in the pipeline for it. you'll be able to share out of your or other organizations. But for now, for this to work, you need to have saved your lessons or your worksheets in Lynx Cloud. So what I can do now is I can select on Lynx Cloud. And if I go and have a look for my maths game, for example, if I now click on the three little dots, it will give me the opportunity now to share and edit live. So if I go share, what will happen now is if you scan in this QR code, um, you will then be able to now get that activity directly onto your devices. Okay. Or if I simply click on that and go edit live, it will bring up the lesson. Just give it a minute or two. Right. So now my lesson is open. I can now go and share this. So um, either your students can then scan in the QR code. So it doesn't matter where they are. They don't have to be on the same network. They could be sitting at home. They could be in a different country. They scan the QR code, um, put in the join code and then they can connect to your session. What that will then allow you to do is you will then be able to uh, give them permission to then annotate or <clears throat> um, participate back in the lesson. So to give you a brief, uh, a brief uh, preview of this, um, take a look at what Jilly and I did. Jilly is sitting in the UK while I am sitting here in South Africa. So we're going to have a little look at sharing and editing live with this game. Now I've saved this into my links um, cloud. So if I go back to my browser um, and go to my links cloud and go into my drives, Here's everything I've got in my Lynx Cloud. You'll see I have quite a few different things in there. If I click on these three little dots, it gives me some more options. So I can share it like I shared previously, that you could take that QR code and you could take that document with you as a bit of a PDF. But if I go into the Edit Live, and it might just take a little moment. Yeah to open on my screen. There we go. And I'll just go into present mode. If you have a device that you're able to take that little snapshot with that QR code. So I'm going to do it with my mobile device here with my phone. So I can show you as well with my phone what it looks like. So I've now got on my device um, exactly what I've got on screen there. Hopefully you guys, some of you will be able to join in as well. Again, you don't need to have Link's whiteboard um, saved or downloaded onto your device. It will open automatically. It does create a user already for you. So I'm signed in as Lavender Yugitsu. I've got Purple Iguana. Candice, is that yourself? Perfect. So I might I might call upon you to do something in a little bit if that's OK. And um, I will just minimize that screen um, for the moment. 
just to show you, hopefully, you'll be able to see the interaction. So this is one of our maths games that are interactive on the local content in the media library. So is, I'm just going to roll the dice and generate a two digit number. So our, our character is looking to see how he can be learning with his math. So here I could use one of the pens down here and I could write the number 23. Now I'm using my mouse, so I apologize with my handwriting. So hopefully you should see that live on your devices. Then he can go to the middle and he can pull down his 10. So he can use his base 10 to help him with understanding that number. And then again, we can pull down the ones. So we've got that number 23 represented. And then we can have the number 23 represented as a part whole model by using these tools to pull it out. So I've got 20 and I've got three. So now what I'm going to do, and fingers crossed this is going to work, Candice, I'm going to give Purple Iguana editing rights. So hopefully now you will be able to roll the dice. Right, I'm trying, give me a second. Okay, so right, let me see, I need to roll the dice. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Now I need so, to write. Yep, you can either write or you can pull the numbers across. Sometimes if oh, you're using a mobile. Yeah, I'm yeah. on my phone. Yeah, some the phones at the moment, the numbers are really quite small. The icons are really small to be Whoops. using. I'm changing the way. Hang on. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, and then I have it. We go, and then Brilliant. I'm going to drag then... this. Right, what am I dragging? That, yeah, and and a three. Is a three gone? There we go. I believe this is an amazing new feature um, that should change um, the way we certainly teach or think about teaching. So, as always, if there are any questions, please just reach out to us. Go to www.